Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Harwood, and this is the first in a series of videos where I will be tackling some workshop renovation projects. Now, admittedly, I am no expert in knocking down and building walls, um, electrical work, and certainly not in organization, although I will be taking on several of those things in these videos. Um, the reason that I want to share this with you, I, I would like for you to join me in this process because I would like to show you how I'm thinking about it um, and how I'm planning on changing the way that the space functions for me in my work. When I moved to Charleston 12 years ago, this space was a thousand square foot detached garage. There was no ceiling, there were no barn doors on the front of it, there was no nothing, no electricity for that matter. And I divided the space into thirds approximately with the front two thirds being for my studio and the back third being for storage. Well, over the years, I have added quite a few pieces of machinery to this space. So I need to bump out that back corner. I'm essentially gonna add an eight foot by eight foot area to the front working portion of my studio in order to make space for some of those machines. So I mentioned earlier that this back area was a storage space and it's definitely not the most well-organized storage space. Um, this is where I throw things when I teach classes. <laughs> so the first step in this process is going to be to clear out several shelves worth of wood that have been there for many years. There's quite a bit of dust in here and who knows what we'll find. We decided that my trailer, my utility trailer, would actually be a great place to store all of the wood while we were in the middle of sorting out the studio. And of course, this would also allow me to take the trailer to the curb and get rid of some of the pieces that aren't going back in before we start reloading my shelves. Once we get all the wood out of here, now it's time to take out these shelves. So once we had a space cleared out in the front part, in the studio portion, now it's time to move to the back room. Oh my God. Now that we've cleared out all the space, it's time to take down the walls. Now I know that I want the front portion, my studio portion, to be heated and cooled and I actually have plans to install a mini split in an upcoming video. I want to make sure that the ceiling is insulated and the best time to put insulation in the ceiling is before you put the ceiling up. So that's our next step is to install the insulation. Once the insulation is up, we're going to put up the sheets of OSB that will be the ceiling. I'd like to take a moment to thank my sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of classes on anything from animation to marketing to video editing and even cooking. It's perfect for someone with a curious mind or a creative spark 
who's looking to expand their horizons or build a business or even find a new creative passion. I am personally diving into this productivity masterclass with Thomas Frank. In case y'all didn't catch me mentioning earlier, organization is kind of a weak point of mine. So I am determined to get my business streamlined and more manageable so that I can spend more time turning. With a premium membership, you get unlimited access to join the communities and classes that are perfect for you. You can give and receive feedback and speak with others who share your interests. Skillshare is giving a free two month unlimited trial to my subscribers who click the link below. And after that, it's just 10 bucks a month. So why not give it a try? Quick progress update here. We got the wall down, we got the shelves out. We got a whole bunch of wood in my trailer right now. We're getting ready to build a nine foot eight inch wall over here and an eight foot wall along the back there. The next step is gonna to be to frame in the new walls. And first we're gonna build a panel on the ground that we will then tip up into place exactly where the back wall is going to be. So with the new portion of the wall that was on the side, we had a little bit of a, a difference in terms of the distance of the ceiling to the concrete floor. So we decided to just go ahead and, and put in the base plate and put in the top plate and then cut the individual pieces to size and attach the vertical two by fours. Once all the framing is in place, then I need to put the walls back in. I use OSB for all of the walls and the ceiling in my studio. That way I know that no matter what I need to do, I have a piece of wood that I can screw into or attach onto. It's a whole lot more utilitarian to me than trying to use drywall. So those of y'all who are into wood turning already probably know that it's a dusty business. Now, if you could imagine being a full-time production wood turner and having these shelves in the back of your studio for, I don't know, say like uh, seven or eight years, there's quite a bit of dust on some of this wood. We are going to clean it off before we bring it back in and the easiest way is to just hit it with an air hose. So the old shelves that were in the back of my studio were still in good enough shape that we could bring it back in and put them to use again. After dragging those in here, now it's time to reload them. Now the tough process is in sorting through what's worth keeping and what's worth tossing. Pushing this wall back and adding that little eight foot by eight foot space has made such a difference in opening up my studio. I think if I wanted to, I can even add one more lathe for classes. I want to try and put the wood back on my shelves with a little bit more order and organization than what I had before. So anytime that I can identify the wood, I'm going to write what type of wood it is on the end of the piece before I put it back in the stack. That way the next time I'm looking for something, it'll be a little bit easier to find. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have to say that I am loving this new space. I feel like my joiner now has an appropriate place and some good lighting above it. Um, and I'm really happy with the results here. So I hope that you will join me in the next video. See you then.